everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life, and today I'm here with a design team post for Dyes R Us. I'm going to be making this fun shaker card using jelly bean soups, um, small circle set for the die, and some circle, small circle pouches. And then I just use a couple of the um, sentiments from the stamp set. So I'm going to start out by using this stencil. It's a Kindred Stamps stencil, and it has clouds and grass on it, and I'm going to do a little Distress Oxide blending. I am doing the sky in tumbled glass and broken china, and then I'll be working on the grass with peeled paint and Lucky Clover. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth, um, kind of moving the stencil around and flipping it over to kind of create the fluffy clouds all up in the air. Now this makes making a shaker card so easy because you really have very little that you have to do. There's not a ton of taping and putting acetate and taping that down and putting foam tape. You don't need to do any of that stuff. So using these pouches is really nice to be able to use them quickly when you want to make a cute little shaker card and I thought this one would be perfect to kinda with everything going on not being able to see people and I used the sentiment sending smiles across the miles and I just thought that was really cute so that is how I created the background then I do end up this is an A2 size card so it's four and a quarter by five and a half and I do end up cutting this panel down to four inches by five and a quarter. And that's going to kind of finish up that panel. The next thing I'm going to do is cut out the basket for the hot air balloon and then just a little circle of the pattern paper. And this is just scrap paper that I have in my stash. And I'm just going to run those through. And I'm going to put that pattern paper for the balloon part of it on the backing of the circle and then that's just going to be the basket for the hot air balloon. Now on the background panel I'm just kind of seeing where I want to place that circle to die cut it out and I'm going to have the balloon, the hot air balloon kind of flying in the wind a little off center. So I'm just going to tape that down and I ran that through my big shot. I use my sidekick for those smaller dies but to run that whole panel it's not large enough. So I use some Hero Arts blue um, pool. It's blue. Pool is the color, um, is the name of the color from Hero Arts. And I'm going to do that sending smiles across the miles in that pool color. And then I just thought that went well with the papers that I chose to kind of put this on. Then I'm just going to use a back panel from that red and white polka dot paper. I'm actually going to use the other side. They're smaller polka dots, so I'm going to end up cutting out the sentiment, and then I'm going to kind of layer it up with that pink and red side. And I do end up using my crocodile and cropping the, rounding out the corners of not only the sentiment strip, but also the background piece for that or the layering the back layering piece of that and then I'm just going to adhere that together with some, a tape runner the next thing I'm going to do is kind of set it up so I'm just using a plain white card base and then I'm going to pop that on there and that is where I want it so I'm going to actually adhere that circle down once I get it in the position that I want it so that I know when I'm going to adhere the pouch that I put that in the right spot. So that's kind of how it's going to go. So there you see me with the pouch just kind of lining everything up making sure that it looks okay. Now one thing these pouches that you know I was looking for a, like a split in it that I could find but I couldn't so I just ended up having to use a pick to pull that tape off. And then the only thing that you really need to worry about is making sure that the sequins are on the paper or within that circle. And then you just adhere that pouch down. And then that top is going to fit perfectly over that. So once I made sure everything was good with that, I 
put some tape runner down or some tape from the tape runner and then I'm just going to pop that background on there and then you see it has that little balloon look for the top of the hot air balloon and then I'm going to use liquid glue because that's a little thin for the basket then I'm going to pop up with some foam tape the smiles across the miles sentiment. I am also going to end up stamping sending hugs up on the top in that same pool color from Hero Arts. And I wanted to use my Misty to make sure that it was in place, but I had already had the basket or the balloon, the pouch in there, and so if you want to do any stamping, you need to make sure, at least in your Misty, I mean, you need to make sure that that's done prior to you finishing up and adding that pouch in there, because otherwise it's too thick and you won't be able to do it. So then the final thing I'll do is just add some sequins, and the sequins is a from a sequin mix from Kennedy Grace Sequins, and it was from a card kit that I had, a past card kit that I have. I have a ton of sequins. I've been trying to use them. Um, and shaker cards are a great way to make sure that you use them. Um, I don't know if you have those little trays to put your sequins in, but they are amazing to be able to pop your sequins back in the bag without having to sit there and play with them. I love that little tray and I have it and I rarely use it and when I do every time I use it I think to myself why do I not use this every single time? But that's pretty much going to be it for this card. So I hope you enjoyed this card. You see how quick and easy that shaker is. Like I said, not all of the normal tapings and doubling up and all different things that you normally have to do. Now I will say this is a thick card and with that plastic pouch it may get smashed. So I would not suggest sending it through the mail in just a regular envelope or anything. But it's a super fun and easy card. So thanks for joining me. Head over to Dyes R Us for all of your dye needs and take care and I hope everybody has a great day.